So, you're one of the many people who have just got into Plutifer, and uh, you want to play Roblox VR as one of the starting games because you've seen other people play it, and it looks funny and cool and all that jazz. So, uh, you want to have your Plutifer client installed through SideQuest and all that stuff. Uh, you want to have your PC on. <coughs> Obviously, be logged in on the headset since you've been set up and everything. And, uh, yeah. And for some particular reason, it doesn't work for you. You don't know how to play it exactly because it's not an app or anything like that. I'm, this video is just going to be telling you how to do it using both the Poots for Client, which I'm just in right now with the virtual streamer, or virtual desktop. And possibly you might need to do the virtual desktop method first, but you might also not need to do it. So <laughs> in your client, you'll want to open Steam VR using the Steam menu button. That thing there on your thing, and then you, and you have to go to this desktop thing. This will in turn hopefully show your desktop. If not, then just wait a bit. Your PC has obviously started a bit faster. Well, connected faster than the desktop thing will show. Revive. I need to get revive working. Um. There we go, you have your desktop thing, you want to oh, get rid of that. And uh, you want to have Roblox installed on your thing, but you want to leave it, <coughs> well, installed either through this or through anything else. And um, you want to have it installed and ready. So, yep, you want to start that up. Start up, you want to do all of this on the VR thing, on the client here. Instead, you want to be logged in, obviously. There's my Roblox account, it's got 50 Robux. And uh, we're gonna try out, obviously, VR hands, because that's the easiest thing to do, and the more popular game. So, you're on here, you've got it all set up ready, you've done it all on the client thing. Uh, and uh, you've got Steam here, and you're just gonna wanna press it. Press it, start it connecting, start it playing. And, if I'm correct, aha, voila, it's in, you're in the Roblox, you're in the VR thing, you want to come, you start up a bit far up there, you want to just come down and uh, press play, you're on the Oculus, obviously, so you want to be playing the Oculus controls, and voila, Roblox VR, you can grab things like this, <laughs> uh, talking. um, you want to beat up kids, yeah, <laughs> And then you don't want to get banned, obviously. Um, so, yeah, that's it. you are got Roblox VR ready. Oh, it's that person again. Okay, so I was playing this a bit earlier, and uh, that works. So, um, you're back here. And yeah, that's it. You've got Roblox VR. You can play. You can do this with any other game that supports VR, obviously. Um, and that's it for the Pootstrick line. With the virtual desktop client, it is a bit more complicated and a bit different, so we're gonna check that out now. So, you wanna obviously leave Roblox VR on the here. <laughs> It'll work, yep. You wanna get up desktops. I'm, anyways, doing it through desktops. Just three hands, there we go. Um, you wanna go to virtual desktop, you wanna get that started. No, not auto launcher. What have I done? Okay, no. Come on, come on, click, double click, please. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, it's going to show this if you've used virtual desktop before. You don't want to really worry about that. You can press don't, war don't warn me on launch, but I can't be bothered to do that. I find it helpful having that there. So you want to have that, you want to have your virtual desktop connected. So now I'm going to leave the Plutosphere client. And move on. Oh, also touching on the Plutosphere client thing. You have to have a Plutosphere to actually use it. Like, actually being accepted in. So virtual, open up virtual desktop. Your thing will now be... Uh, as here, it said X Steam VR. You're going to want to do that because... It's not going to work because once you actually start up. Actually, I'll just show you. We're going to go on here. 
we have Roblox started up. I'm going to go to the Roblox section. Well, you can see the games. We want to press this. And we're going to start it up. And you can see here, this doesn't actually up to start up a game. If you start it up, it's going to start in VR. However, it's got the Steam VR thing. It thinks your headset is not connected. And uh, it's not going to let you actually go play the game. If you want to Steam VR, which will also exit Roblox. And then you're going to go to launch Steam VR here. So, many ways you could do this. I guess the one of the better ways is to press VR hands. You want to actually start the game. Starting up, you want to push thing. And, um,. It'll start up Steam VR and Roblox will also start starting up. I'm going to just double click the menu button, this to P off, and start again because I think that actually cancelled out. I get that done and Roblox is going to start. That's all. Now, which means that when it does play, of the switch a bit instead of just and really also switch back to the den. Uh, when you're on your thing, I here options. I would prefer. I would recommend the H.264 codec if you're on like a lower kind of thing, because it does mean there is a bit of reduced latency, which is a good thing. You don't want too much latency because it starts doing it. Audio streaming VR only. It's also good. And of course, virtual desktop lets you use a mic, and so does um the Please for VR streamer. I don't know why this isn't starting. It should. We're going to press it again. There we go. So you can see we've got this here. And it started in VR. So now we can just press switch to VR. And voila. We're in. And we can start playing again. And here. My character's being eaten off. There we go. And that's it. You've got now uh, Roblox VR working using the Plutosphere uh, streamer and also the Virtual Desktop streamer. However, as you can see here, everything's slowly loading in on the Virtual Desktop because it's a bit different. It produces, I don't know what it does. So I prefer the Virtual, I prefer the Plutosphere streamer, which first of all, um, it's obviously been uh, made much better recently. So. I'm hitting them off. Get off. Um, and yeah, that's it. So, I hope this has been helpful. If it has, I can subscribe, I guess, as that, as that thing works. And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a person. I'm gonna get banned. I don't want to do that, actually. Um, but yeah, that's everything. So, I hope this has been helpful. Um, yeah, people have been asking for this, so I thought, you know, <laughs> it makes things easier. So yeah, uh, as I said at the start of the video, I think, doing the virtual desktop thing might be the thing that actually starts making it work. But that was a while ago where things didn't work as well as before. So now it does, you can do it straight away on the boost for client. And that is it. So, see you all later and bye bye <laughs>